Spring allergy season is in full swing, a little bit ahead of schedule, but that is becoming the new normal. Yep, CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch explains how climate change affects allergies and what you can do now to curb the suffering. Bold pink blossoms against the backdrop of pristine blue skies, crafts, beautiful scenery, and big problems for some, like four-year-old Amelia. Her grandmother, Denise Margiata, shares as soon as they step outside, symptoms spike. Dry cough, uh, sneezing a lot. I feel horrible for her. <laughs> She tells us she doesn't feel well. Dr. Leonard Bielerai, an adjunct professor at Rutgers University, manually conducts the pollen count several times a week and recently found. It has shot up into the thousands. Bielerai also crunched the pollen counts from the past 40 years to assess the impact of climate change on pollen and allergies. It is starting earlier. In general, from 2000 to 2020, the season started 19 days earlier and pollen production increased by roughly a third. He honed in on ragweed from Texas due north to Canada. As you move north, the change is that it starts earlier and it ends later. What does it correspond to? Frost free days. Warming temperatures increase the number of frost free days. His research also revealed we humans experienced increased allergy sensitivity because of enhanced exposure. Ragweed sensitivity used to be about 40% about 25 years ago. It is now approaching 60 to 70% of the population. What he expects in the next decade? Pollen counts will increase, meaning the amount of pollen a single plant produces will increase and the duration that it's releasing the pollen will increase. Dr. Catherine Monteleone, professor of medicine at Rutgers RWJ Medical School, says at first sign of symptoms, activate avoidance measures, start medicine. Windows closed, home and car. Air conditioner can filter. The other thing is outdoor clothes and indoor clothes. Pollen gets to you because it sticks to your mucosa of your eyes, your nose. It can also stick to your clothes and your hair. When you get home, shower and throw your indoor clothes on. A lot of people who suffer find that just doing that helps them use less medicines. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. And Dr. Bjolari also shared allergies impact almost 40% of the population. And sometimes they come out of nowhere, like yeah. for me and for you. As you get older, suddenly yeah. you're affected Ooh. by things that never used to give you a problem. And as you pointed out, it's feeling like it's all year round around. That's what it feels like. Yep.